it's Tuesday. I'm in Scotland working, uh, and I've uh, been working in a place called Girvan, which is on the west coast. Okay, found out about that on Thursday last week, so I thought I've been there before. Nice little place, right on the coast. So what I'll do, I'll pack me noddy rod and me noddy bag. So I've got a bit of sea fishing gear with me, so I'm going to have a little, uh, a little dabble on a pier here. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, the tackle shop where I was going to get some bait from has closed down, so I've got no peeler crab, I've got no lugworm, I've got no fish. All I've got is uh, a few uh, basically raw prawns from the supermarket. But again, it's a bit of fishing. If I don't catch anything, I don't catch anything. Uh, I haven't checked the times of the tides, but I've just looked at now. High tide is half past seven tonight, so the tide's on its way in now. It was low tide at uh, 20 past 12, lunchtime. It's on its way in now, so high tide, uh, just a ticket, yeah, it's about half past three now, so I've got three hours leading up to high tide, uh, half seven, see what we can catch. So I'm going to sit down there, as I say, uh, I'll have to put a few uh, bits of nice comfortable clothing, because it's a bit windy out there. So I'll get me rod, get me bad, get me chair, bugger off down there. And sit on the end of there for a few hours, see if I can catch myself some fish. Catch and release, catch I've and release. I've got myself a cheeky little spot on the end of the pier, obviously I'm here all by myself. Uh, I've put my big Tango Man suit on because it's a little bit more and windy and if it starts raining I'll get miserable and wet. Uh, so I'm going to rig my gear up now. Yeah, I'm going to stick it out there, some prawns on. Uh, let's see if we can get a little nibble or two. Yeah, just a, a Tuesday afternoon after work up in Scotland and on the, uh, the end of the pier in Girvan Town Centre. There we go. Next stop, I learned all the good old US of A. That's in America. So, uh, it's a bit windy here and there's a little bit of a, well, I'd say a little mini lighthouse here with some uh, lights on the top, obviously water into uh, ships and boats. So, I've rigged my rig up, it's all homemade of course, I make all my own rigs, I've been doing sea fishing since I was a nipper, so I've got a bit of experience. Yeah. I'm not running in blind. So here's my rigs, I've got my rod, it's, uh, it's a 13 foot beach caster basically, uh, with a nice little uh, reel on there that got from Glasgow Angling. Okay. My rig I've got is a homemade one of them with the uh, things on for doing stuff in sand, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, then I've got basically two little rigs, two little flatty rig things it's supposed to be, I made myself. Yeah, that's, uh, I think it's about £20 amnesia with a little bit of a raw prawn on the end. Got a bit of a, bit of a spinner blade there, and again for flatties, dabs, play, not plays, but flat dabs and uh, flounders and that, you never know. Other fish might pick it up. If there's any mackerel in, they might have a go at it. Whiting, uh, bass, or anything else that's kicking around out there. So, first cast Charlie. Let's get it whacked out, shall we? See if we can get ourselves a bit of a nibble. So bomb on my bomb dig into the sand so basically I can pull into it and see any, uh, any uh, action on the rods in there. Uh, looks like a sandy bottom, so there might be some place, uh, place not place, dabs or flounders kicking about. Uh, and I've got a 60 pound leader on there for the big chucks. Oh, it's sitting wait now, ain't it? Back of the onion bag. So I'm sat here out of the wind, it's a little bit more convenient here, it's blowing across, but I've got this little lighthouse jobby uh, breaking the wind off me. Uh, so we're fishing. Yeah, whether they'll get anything on these prawns or not, 
Uh, well, you don't wait and see any, probably not, but the tackle shop shut down in the uh, the town there, so I couldn't get any bait. I went to Asda, they haven't got fishmongers, so it's a little bit of uh, raw prawns, basically. But I'll give it till the tide comes in, and then once the tide's a little bit higher, I might just bash a few mackerel feathers out and see if we can get out on the retrieve. Yeah, so I'll give it the baited ones, go first, see if they can pick out up. Oh, if not, plan B, mackerel feathers. Yeah, a few casts around, see if you can pick up anything that way. Again, it is April, so yeah, the mackerel may be in, they may be not. If not, I'm not sat in the hotel playing with myself, I'm, I'm fishing. Happy days, double thumbs up, come and have a look at what you could have won. Bob's your teapot. Come on, fishies. Let's have it, son. Oh, I've just had a reach up. So, tip streaks and handy is the wind might be ra ra racing through the air, through the microphone at the moment. So, I don't know how it's, uh, it's going to turn out this. Tip six, stand in. Yeah, we want. Nice big knock on the end of that rod tip. Yeah. And then if we get a mackerel, then uh, we've got a little bit of bait as well, haven't we? Come on, prawns. Come on, Aldi prawns. It's typical, isn't it? You come on to a pier in the middle of the nowhere on the west coast of Scotland and you've got some smack rat fucking arguing with his bar skank yeah, on a pier at four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, typical. Can't get away from it these days, but I don't care. Yeah, because I've got an ELFK extra long fucking knife. Makes good work of smack rats, that. Yeah, hang them over the edge once you've done it. Happy days. Nice, quiet and peaceful once again. Come on, fish! Come here to sit on me fat ass. Came hauling, I like hauling. One of my favourite pastimes, hauling. Can you tell I'm fucking bored? Well, it's, uh, it's about half five now, and it's blowing a bit of an oogly. It's getting a bit cold. Uh, I'm all reeling, I'm going to put some fresh bait on. And Try a little bit of peeler oil, dip it in a bit of crab oil. Yeah, it's lovely stuff this. It smells plastic. Bait on, dip in the old peel of crab oil and get it humped out again.
that goes the fucking lead. Fucking pot bottle Crab oil smells nice, but I've got no chuffing lid for it now. All bags. Now that's an attack helicopter. They're going to fuck someone's day up. Probably Rambo. So I'll recast, I'll give it another hour with that then. I'm Gonna change over, I think. Put some uh, some little mackerel feather type uh, baits on and just retrieve them through the water. See if they can pick up some. If not, gotta bugger off back to Glasgow to be a nice big warm hotel. Cause it's absolutely fucking freezing here. That wind doesn't half make it cold. Go inland there; it'd be quite warm. It's at the end of a beer, yeah, from the west coast of Scotland. Freeze your gonads off, you big silly orange suit. ain't working so I'm gonna have a double have a double jump with the old mackerel feathers for the small ones in the things as well. And as soon as you get round that corner that wind starts blowing in. It's raining coming over now as well so I'm just going to give it a couple of, couple of chucks and then one man and his noddy rod he's noddying off don't do shit weather I hate shit weather it's shit
it's coming in. It's only this little light. I was blocking the wind out here. Out there, blowing a hoolie. Yeah, so that's it. Knock it on the head. Yeah, I've done for about three hours. Yeah, just get your notebooks out. Add that to my blank list. Another tally of blanks. Double thumbs bollocks. That weather came in fast. It's blown a hoolie. Pissing it down, my fingers are dropping off, type of pack up, bug out. One man and his noddy rod strikes again. But if you don't go fishing, you can't catch fish. Three hours, stink a crab, I'm off back to Las Vegas now to get my eel brinner because I'm Hank Marvin. Whew! I need to <coughs> clean my gigs first though. See you later, kids. <laughs> yeah, typical Scottish weather. Yeah, it comes in very fast without warning. Not nice out there now. Right, back to Las Vegas, another fishing trip, another blank, another one to the tally. But hey yo, it was a bit of crack, a bit of fun, and I enjoyed myself. See you later. Yeah, weather came in fast there. I was going to do uh, a little bit of a tackle box tour, the sea tackle box there, and the bag and what have you. But again, that went, river came in very quick indeed. One minute it was sunny, next minute it was windy, blowing a gale, and uh, of course, the, uh, the rain started hammering down, and then everything got cold, very cold. So I'm off back to Las Vegas now. Yeah, and uh, well, show you the tackle box next time. Happy days.